surgery is designed to give an hourglass shape with a fuller backside are becoming more popular. And one of the most requested is the Brazilian butt lift. But medical professionals are sounding the alarm about this cosmetic surgery in particular. The I team's Vanessa Murphy takes a closer look at why doctors say it's considered so dangerous and how the surgery led to a tragic outcome for one Las Vegas family. Sometimes they call the office specifically requesting, do you do the Nicki Minaj butt or do you do J-Lo booty? They will actually say these terms to us. Dr. John Brocious is a plastic surgeon. As an assistant professor with UNLV School of Medicine, he mainly works at University Medical Center, helping trauma, burn, and cancer patients. But he also performs cosmetic surgery and occasionally the Brazilian butt lift. I have a very realistic talk with my patients and the risks of fatal uh, complications are often discussed in the procedures that have a higher chance of that. In July of 2018, a task force of medical societies issued an urgent warning about Brazilian butt lifts. The risk of death, at least one in 3,000, making it the most dangerous type of cosmetic surgery. But it's still popular. We do see more and more uh, requests for this procedure every day, despite that the risks are becoming more and more um, obvious. Here's how it works. We do liposuction to anywhere where we can find fat on the body, and then we separate out the fat and then re-inject the fat into the buttock. And because it's a fat graft, meaning that it becomes revascularized, your body grows into it. Brocious calls it a relatively blind procedure meaning no large incision is made so the doctor can't see where he or she is injecting the fat. We are injecting large volumes of fat potentially near large blood vessels with the possibility of that, blood, that fat traveling through the bloodstream to the, to the um, heart and lungs and killing the patient. That's how Paige Hazelton died. According to the Clark County coroner, the injected fat traveled to her lungs. It's just really hard now that she's not here with us. The 30-year-old woman went to this now-closed Las Vegas office to get the surgery in March of 2018. That was just months before the international warning. These are pictures of her and her boys. Paige's aunt there. and sister sat down with the I team on the one-year anniversary of her death to share a message through their pain. Do not risk your life doing this. It's not worth it to ever risk your life. With this surgery. Paige leaves behind two little boys. We don't want another young family, young children, to be without a mother. Anything we can do to, we hope, save somebody else's life in Paige's name, we want that very much. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Paige Hazelton's family is suing the Las Vegas doctor who performed her surgery, and it turns out this is not the first lawsuit like that that the doctor has faced. So coming up tonight at 11 o'clock, the I-Team continues this exclusive coverage.